What is up everybody? How's everybody doing? This is Ghost Stalker Gaming and I am going to show you guys a problem I was having on Call of Duty. If you guys know this issue, it is a DirectX error that at every 20 minutes it tends to crash Call of Duty. A lot of people saying this is a VRAM issue, which could make sense. And seeing that I'm on a newer computer, Microsoft Windows 11 game ready driver on NVIDIA. I got a Ryzen 9 9900X 12 core processor, 32 gigs of RAM, and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 Super. I'm currently playing Call of Duty on the Xbox app. So some of the solutions for this issue is to downgrade the graphics card driver underclock your GPU, downgrade to Windows 10, uh, launch the game in DirectX 11, which on Steam, they have that option here where you can uh, launch the game in DirectX 11 with a cert command. On Xbox, they don't have this option. You cannot put in a command even to downgrade to DirectX 11 in Xbox. And I know with my computer, I don't want to downgrade anything on it. And underclocking the RAM is something that I do not want to do. We shouldn't have to downgrade our PC. It's a direct X issue and maybe a COD compatibility issue with direct X. I don't know. Even some of these issues that people said. So what we're going to do here, we're going to go to our settings and then hit graphics. Um, under display, full screen borderless. I want to stay in full screen borderless. This is the only one that seems to work, at least for me. Now, these solutions might work for me, not for you. I don't know. That's part of the reason why I'm making this video. I want people to let me know in the comments if this is working for them or not. So, full screen borderless. <clears throat> Of course, aspect ratio doesn't matter. Not sure if this setting matters too much, but I noticed that the game cinematics and uh, background scene, uh, 3D background scene resolution while on menus, um, I noticed this has made the cinematics stop skipping so much. But this might not be one of the solutions. If we go over to quality, since this is a possible VRAM leak, uh, like I said, we shouldn't have to do this, but set the VRAM scale target 55. 60, I was hearing, was a good number, but 60, I was still having issues. So. 55 seems to be the sweet spot if the game doesn't crash. Another thing that I've noticed, it doesn't crash when you have DLSS frame generation on. Take your texture, uh, texture resolution and set that to normal. And another thing we have here is render resolution uh this was crashing as well when i had it up higher but having this set to 100 is perfect to prevent the game from crashing so this worked for me guys let me know if this worked for you in the comments if there's any other troubleshoots you guys would like me to try to figure out um i will i can make a video if i have the ability to access whatever troubleshoot is Please like, share, and subscribe. I go live on six other platforms under Ghost Stalker, Ghost Stalker Gaming, or Ghost Stalker Gaming and Beats. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And until next time, stay safe.